I can never get a decent angle for this battle, can I? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm no guy 21 welcome back to Let's Play Network Knights 2, Storm of Zaheer. Last time, we entered the Gnome uh, Lumber Camp trying to find the so-called Saboteur Luare, only to find out that he was not there. And the Gnomes were experiencing trouble with sabotage machines, well, broke down machines caused by dinosaurs, and a teleporter that does not work. Thankfully, though, we solved both of those issues by combing the dinosaur horde and fixing their teleporter. And in exchange, they essentially gave us a vial of poisoned blood, which we need to now analyze. So now we need to find someone who's me? very, very, so. very well versed in poisons. Shouldn't be that too hard to find someone well versed in poisons around here. Don't know if it's magical or mundane. Speaking of which, where is that vial of poison at? Vial of poison, where are you? Well, first things first. Oh, someone's moving cargo. The fuck are kudu, kudu, eh. They're sling bullets. That's interesting to know. Four teeth. Vial of poison blood, where are you? Am I just imagining it? No, it's still toxin. Solomon was carrying it. Perhaps so. Okay, a uh, vial of distilled toxin. This is the still form of the toxin drawn from the dead artificer at the Lantanese lumber camp. You don't know how it was distilled or from where, you believe you're very likely better off never asking. Maybe if I was an assassin, I would have a better knowledge of poisons, but I'm not. So, uh, yeah, it is chilly too. Day, I may actually need to put on some heavier clothes. Holy shit! Then again, it is in the middle of October, so I'm expecting the chill to come down eventually. And before rain pops up and it's hot and humid as fuck, because fuck rain, fuck humidity. Actually, rain's not a problem. It's actually quite relaxing to stand in for a few hours. Welcome back. Vadinia is glad to see you again. What does the Sparrow need that we can accommodate? Do you know anything about poisons, madam? Ah, yes, Tricky Sparrow, I do. I see you have dist distillation there. May I see it? You might want to be careful. It's magically sealed, so be careful with divination spells, please. We don't know if it will explode. Ah, interesting. Choke miss. A strange choice. Yes, quite tricky. Wait, someone can actually use that stuff? I didn't think you could. Yes, choke miss is very deadly. Fades quickly from the system. Makes death look nearly natural. But it does not last long. For a recent kill here, they would have to harvest it. But two things. One... It has been hunted down by its macrians for ages since its fumes kill all who venture near it. It would only grow now in a cave where men do not dare to venture. Somewhere near something dangerous. Mm. It vapors mark the land between the mountains and the river to the west. I know where it may be. The second, to harvest it, you must withstand the poison. But only once you do, you must imbibe its fumes regularly. Do it through death, you must become dependent on death, you see. A rather twisted system to deliver death by thriving on it. Quite so, my tall lizard. Your dinosaur god, he is much easier to figure, yes? Kill by need only, not to grow dependent on it. Not such with this assassin. 
Beware them. They will likely face you where there is choke mist nearby. Come back in one piece, Sparrow, yes? Right. Lie back soon, I was not actually expecting her to know anything about poisons. I was actually trying to... I was actually going to talk to her to see if it was magical in nature, but uh, that works too! Oh boy. Should I rest the inn? Nah, it's cheaper to rest outside in the wild. Thankfully though, with Druid Boy here, we don't have to worry about getting ambushed in the darkness of night. Just because the is one of the most powerful and respected merchants, does not mean she's not a target. Okay, what the hell? Oh yeah, zombies. Okay, we got, uh, the tower. Choke Miss Cave. You motherfuckers. You placed that point there deliberately, knowing I was over there last time, but no. Actually, quest log. Sabotage, the lady's apprentice. Disturbances. Dolls is the log seem to be moving around damage every morning, especially culprits attacking at night. He'd like you to stick around outside the log camp around midnight to look into the matter. Ogres! The patrol doesn't seem to care! Or, they weren't caring when I first showed up. This one stands no chance. Do, 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 do. There's more where that came from. Time to kill some ogres. Yay! Soldiers didn't do jack shit. Okay. Uh, return to the Overland map, please. Do 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 do. Okay, it's time to head back up north. Actually, since I'm here, since I'm doing that anyway, might as well stick around the lumber camp after midnight and see what the fuck's going on. Now, does it mean directly outside of the camp or in the camp? It would also help if I was not stuck on the fucking terrain. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely, definitely cold. My hairs are standing up on end. Fantastic. Day hour ten. So wait a couple hours. It is night. It is now hour nineteen. Year of lightning storms. Arterac twenty five. 1374. At least you give me a date. That's always nice to have. Man, it is freezing. I should close my windows. Or I could put on a sweater. Or I could just stop complaining and tough it out like a man. Why? Was it so important? What the hell? A ghost, you say? See invisibility! I'm not sure if that acts as true seeing or not. But 
we have pacified the ghost. My senses now. Really? You don't say. And would you happen to tell us why? And what happened to make you go crazy? My name is Tam of Timekeep. I was an Avenger near here before before I met my end. Leva, another engineer, saw my design for a new logging machine and he wanted it. I would have gotten a bonus, and for that, he lured me out here. I was a fool. A lonely fool. How did he keep your death a secret? We... we were... I could not have suspected he wanted that I meant so little. Others would never, never have known as well. When I turned my back, he... there was fire, then nothing, then this. Afterwards, he ran to Doll and the others, sobbing that we were out together. And a dinosaur surprised us that he thought but was not strong enough, and I was taken. Such a fool I was. Uh, so, how can we set your soul to rest? He buried my body near the wall on the west side outside the camp. Find it, pull it from the earth, and show. And show Doll what he did to me. Bring Leva to justice, and I will be brought home. Master Gon will welcome he me. He killed me. And these guys don't give two shits. Gotta work chopping down this tree. Why ain't these axes working? So that's what that shout this yeah, mound of earth is for. Investigate further. You dig deeper to find the ghost's mortal remains, a little more than charred bones and smattering of half metal jewelry. You place the body in a sack to show Dahl later. Well, this is a neat little side quest I forgot to do before I left. Just gonna keep jumping this tree! I'm just expecting just someone to be sitting in a chair during all this. Nope, not getting out of this chair! Hey, doll. What do you have there? Are those... bones? Indeed they are, good sir. The ones responsible for the logging machines breaking is the owner of these remains. Now a ghost. And she wants her kill brought to justice. That man, there. What? That That's Tam's necklace! Leva, you said dinosaur got her. Speak truthfully! Did you kill her? What? No, never. It's a lie! The outsider's trying to... Tear us apart, I... What? No, that's not... It's... Get away from me! No! Gone's tears? I never thought... I'll give them a burial, send their remains home to land and make sure that happens. Yes, Master Nickel Play, I'll see to it myself. Oh, my apologies, and thanks for bringing the matter to a light. I'll need a moment to gather my thoughts, but talk to me again soon, please. Okay, you got some time. So, you're back, huh? What can I help you with? How's everything at the camp? Gumbler mostly, though our mechanic seems to be sad. I ain't got much use to talk to her. Tends to denied her a little. If you got time, you might want to see what the problem is. Maybe later. Anything else? No. Oh boy, you fixed. Well, holy shit! I didn't see him get killed off screen. There. I. God. Let me guess, did something happen to your gnomes? Golems, I mean. Yes! All of a sudden they just started acting weird and my clock roaches all ran away. If someone doesn't do something, they're programmed to clean with their ass they might. Oh, why did they run away? We'll try to help. Oh, thank you! If you brought me the pieces to at least four of them, I'm sure I can find out what went wrong. Maybe make you something special. How many do we have? Bounty Satchel. Blade Spider. There we go. 
Pretty sure I need them out of my inventory for this to work. What can I help you with? I got your clock roach parts. You do? Oh, thank you. I was so worried. This isn't the way I wish to get them back, but I'll take what I can get. And hey, we leveled up. Here, it isn't much, but I hope this will come in handy. It's a little one, not as powerful as theirs, but I hope you. Hope you like it. Thank you. I'm sure it'll be useful. Can I help you with anything else? No. Have fun with your golems. Okay, so I hand over the parts, and I, in exchange I get... What's this? Collapsible clock roach. This small, strange-looking box unfolds into a clattering, small, but functional clock roach at the push of a button. Though its flame is cl cleverly constructed, the ingenious folding pattern of design makes it susceptible to greater amounts of wear and tear. Unfortunately, limited its use. And we can only use it 25 times. Well, if we're ever in a dire situation that requires us to use, use that, we'll do something about it. Might as well wear this. Level up time! Let's see. Duelist. Never mind, I need parry, so fuck that. Hmm. Hmm. That's all about parrying, which is annoying to deal with. And what's my intelligence at? It's a plus two. So that would gain extra damage at third level. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just stick with base rogue for life or something until I can get something that's actually useful. Like, I don't know, Shadow Thief or Shadow Dancer or whatever. Oh wait, that requires hiding and sneaking. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Looks like I'm sticking with the good old faithful of st plain old simple rogue. Okay, get these up to 12. Okay, I got three points left over. Let's have them be put into... Uh... Let's see, why am I going to stop putting things into the magical devices? Hmm. I think I should stop at uh, 13. Mainly so I can have access to things, most things that aren't scrolls. In that case, let's put, put these three points into... Uh, listen, why not? Our sneak attack goes up to 5d6 and we get plus three on trap sense. And now we gain the ability to... Oh, excuse me. Have a new feat. Game, what do you recommend? You recommend mobility. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we go two weapon fighting or not? Uh, hmm. I'll make that uh, priority later. Let's get mobility. The character with feet has learned to avoid attacks of opportunity more effectively, getting a plus four dodge bonus to AC against them. Finish. Yes. Now I should be able to move around the battlefield without getting attacks of opportunity up the ass. Red Dragon Disciple once more. Put that into charisma. Concentration. Lore. And spellcraft. Finish, and we gain access to Dragon Breath, and we have 15 more HP. Yes? Uh... Divine Champion, what do we need? A weapon focus feat. Okay. Paladin. Concentration. Heal. Lore. And nothing new. Ready. What? I hope we get a new feat at level 8. 
<laughs> we can make him a divine champion if we want. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Uh, but continue on with fighter to gain access to more feats: craft armor, craft weapon, and intimidation, and taunt as well. Ooh, another feat! Excellent. I need mobility because we need to gain access to spring attack. 117, 90, 84, 80, 68. Yes. That's what happens when you have the Red Dragon Disciple as a multi-class with one of the squishiest classes available. You end up with more HP than a goddamn rogue what? who's a higher level. Yeah, that figures. You're back! Welcome again! Can't stay away, can you? <laughs> <sighs> Do you have infinite potions? Yes, you do. Apparently, they don't want to stack. Whatever. I will lead now. Follow. Can I shift click to buy a batch? Control click? No. Ugh. How annoying. Yes. What? Potions, potions, potions. Need more healing potions. Need more healing in general. I know this maze. Follow close. I'm sure you do. Okay. Perhaps so. Now we can leave this fucking camp and never come back here again. Right? Do I have to come back here? I don't think so. Alright then. Well, that was a ne nice little 20 minute diversion. I didn't think that took 20 minutes to do, but apparently I was wrong. Dinosaurs! Screw you, you can't get past me! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh shit. Time to kill some spiders. I want their venom sex, so I have proof of my accomplishments. You fucking assholes. Delay me, Green. You gonna drop anything for me, giant spiders? Please be what I'm after. Yes. One more to the pile. Uh, collect all these. Do that. You know, you think with the sword inventory would also uh, stack things for me, but apparently not. Now, apparently these are two separate different potions. Even though I'm pretty sure they're the same strength. Okay. <sighs> well, that's another group of spiders dead. How many of these venom sacks do we need? Eight? Or something like that? Ready. Okay, where is this cave? Oh, hey, Willis. 
zombies. Thankfully, though, we have the proper tool for killing zombies and involves stabbing them in the brain. Where's this cave at? Choke Mist Cave, huh? Let's set camp. We shall do the classic save over the oh shit button. God fucking I swear to god I open my window suddenly I'm sneezing like it's no one's fucking business out here. There I'm developing a cold. Examine the spores. The spores when hailed in sufficient quality can cause quality quantity. I'm all, I'm gonna I'm gonna get those two messed up without actually looking at the word. Can cause the victim to become delirious and irrational. Walking near patches of these plants should be avoided. Nice to know. Entering the cave. Okay, so ignore the purple flap. The purple flowers. Ignore the green flowers. Long enough to get here. The Bateri attack on the beach wasn't a coincidence, was it, Luari? I says the nation. I guess you really aren't as Morak as you look. Some of you Perhaps my lord was right to want you out of the way. Really, your lord, and who's supposed to do that? Do not worry. You'll meet him soon enough. I should be able to find at least one of you worthy to sacrifice. My favorite will grow. Ah, I tire of waiting. Let's bring this moment closer to being. Enough of your talk. Whatever, whoever you are, we will end you. I think he may be a Yonzi. Son of a bitch! Blood Edge is stuck in, in the web. First <laughs> magic missile. Good job with the lightning. Die, you auntie bitch. Guess I'm assuming he was Yanti. Saboteur Stiletto, what's this? It's a plus one dagger with acid damage. Slick with a fiend sheen of acid, the bronze of this dagger doesn't seem to sizzle or corrode from its constant presence, instead working hideous wonders on the flesh of its enemies. Though the saboteur preferred to kill by stealth, you suspect he employed this deadly little weapon against his foes more than once. Okay, we've got some dragon bile. Dragon bile? What the fuck? When applied to a weapon, dragon bile can greatly sap a wounded foe's strength, but rarely causes death. DC 26 initial 3d6 strength damage. Apply poison charge. And a magical amulet. Amulet of natural armor plus one. Finally, a good amulet. Here you go, Blood Edge. Very well. You, sir. Thank you. Need more AC. Perhaps so. Cause there you're with the tankiest motherfucker around. And hey, I got a giant spider venom suck out of that. Well, we killed Luare. Hey, we made our reflux save against poison? Okay. Well, okay. Luare's identity as a yawn is a terrifying fact. If a scry exposure used to discover that he was had peaceful contact with Sunny Ray Associates, some American officials could legally put everyone involved to death. Oh, that's not a good sign. And teleportation bugs for the win. Yes. 
Of course, what I call a teleportation bug is probably a memory glitch or something. Video memory glitch, that is. I need a better graphics card. I need a better computer, actually, in general, actually. A better motherboard, a better CPU, a better graphics card. Because <sighs> when you're running a 550 Ti, you're severely out of date at this point. Hello, Knowles. I'm not gonna bother you unless you charge after me, so piss off. I thought I told you to piss off! But no, they got charging like a bunch of fools! They must be hungry. Because don't they know that survival is paramount in the jungle? Exactly. Lend me your strength! I wonder what's with the uh, magical effects there, buddy. Hey, it's one. Wait a minute, where are the goblins? Aren't they supposed to be riding on those things? Well, I don't think the nose are carrying anything good. Crossbow bolts, meh. Shurikens, meh. Arrows, meh. Ugh. Turn to the Overland map, please. Orcs! What are you doing in the jungle? Alright, time to head back to Summergall. Open Palm Bazaar. Enter the bazaar. Here's hoping we don't get into a fight immediately because of some fucking asinine bullshit! Oh, no getting arrested by the town guards immediately out of the gate? Excellent! I'm pretty sure I'm as strong as you assholes. Piss off. I presume you have been tracking the saboteur. Have you met with much luck? Well, yes, we did. It was Luari, but uh, there's something more. He was also Yon T. What? How can that. How do you know? Oh, well, that's simple. Actually, he. I'll explain it. He spoke of it and he shifted form when he died. I could sense the truth in his words. Gods and demons, if anyone followed you, if anyone should discover this, or suspect we have any connection, hells! We are all of us in grave danger. Even in death, the saboteur can strike. My lady, beware. A guard approaches. Oh. Yes, thank you, Master Volo. Captain Dajos, we meet again. What brings you to this mercantile house today? An order from the council. It seems you've had rather troubling luck with your employees of late. I hear reports that one of them sabotaged your ship and might have had dealings with the Yuan T. That employee was summarily dismissed shortly after the shipwreck. I filed the paperwork for the Mercantile Affairs Committee. And if you should insinuate that I and my company have anything to do with the snake folk... Your authority over me is no longer recognized, Sasani. In fact, by order of the Council, you are to leave Samagol immediately while this matter is investigated. And care of your merchant company is to be remanded to your highest ranking inferior. In this case, the resident Osi Chaluka. No, Lady Sasani, I... Osi, be at ease. I should be glad to have you run the company in my temporary absence. Very well. The Council expects to see you gone by sunset tomorrow, Sasani. Or you'll be considered guilty and be put to the sword. Good day. Fine. Then I shall not wait for the Northern Hub's reply to my missive. We shall use the Portal of the Gnomes. It is time I examined our operations at Crossroad Keep personally. Sasani, you must reconsider. 
Could we not relocate to Rasatan for the time being instead? The Council can be reasoned with. If we leave the country, they could interpret that as guilt, and we shall be as good as dead. I understand, Asira. But there is no chance that the Council will even listen to us. They already dislike how much trade we control in the city to begin with. Osi is more than capable of managing this place on his own. I thank you, my lady. I shall do my best to keep things running with the utmost smoothness and efficiency. Nasirin, Volo, and myself shall depart for the portal at once, under the guise of a routine trade meeting in Taruin. You, on the other hand, should use more caution on your approach. We shall meet you in Crossroad Keep when you arrive. Take care in the north, my friends. The Sword Coast has become a base and lawless place in the wake of the Shadow. I would not return, but that the Lady Sasani has requested me, and I am powerless to resist the demands of a beautiful woman. Yay! Northward bound. Okay. Sasani is determined to avoid any dangerous legal. It I just realized I could talk to Nasira and I probably got a quest or something out of it. Son of a Damn it! Oh, this is what I get for not for doing things blind, isn't it? Anyway, Sasani is determined to avoid any legal entanglements and Severgal has decided to venture out north, leaving immediately for Crossroad Keep. She encourages you to use the portal at the lens and he's blah 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 blah. Hey, O.C., what do you have to say about all this? Greetings again, friends. What may I do for you? Well, you act as if society wasn't just exiled from Samargal. Shh! They're watching! You must act as if nothing is wrong. I would advise you, friends, to leave Samargal as soon as you can. Ah, before we leave, can I see what you have for sale? Certainly, friends. Uh, I guess this is the point of no return. Do anything you want to do in Samargal now before you get kicked off the island. I'm never going to be able to fulfill that bounty notice, am I? Actually, just let me talk to her. How many spider things does she need proof of? Have you bounties for me, Hunt? Uh, yes, I have a special bounty to give you. Ah, damn it. Latest. Oh, fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, well, shit. Can't do anything. Fuck. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck. Is there anything I could do he here still? Besides explore the island? Normally, the paranoid Samurai can execute anyone suspected of involved with the Yonti. The science high staff Samurai has spared her life and lives for associates, including you and Volo, but uh, I couldn't read the rest of it! <laughs> Loading screens! It's a good thing I don't have a fucking SSD installed, otherwise I couldn't read any of it. Orcs, I need to vent out some frustration on you bastards. You know, we just came from the fucking labor game area, and now we have to run all the way back. God damn it, can't you give me a horse or something? I could ride on top of a fucking dinosaur if you want. No? Okay. Prepare to become with me too. You know, you'd think orcs would be a lot harder to deal with, but they're not. You know, it's always goblins, orcs, and kobolds, the first things you fight in D&D. Hmm. It's kind of fucking ironic. Not ironic, iconic, actually, is the word I'm thinking of. <sighs> well, on the plus side, because I have my windows open like a fool, I... Cannot fall asleep. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that takes care of that. Umaja, I need you. Umaja, I need you to direct me back to the fucking labor camp. It's lumber camp, not labor camp, you moron. It's lumber, not labor. 
Even though they're practically the same thing! And before anyone starts arguing about uh, semantics, I know they're two different separate things. It's called a joke. It's called humor. It's called sarcasm. Do you not understand how comedy is supposed to work? And I'm going the wrong direction. It's like, no one understands how comedy is supposed to work these days. They get offended over a small little joke. Fuck you, stag beetles. I said, fuck you, stag beetles, you can't catch me. Eat the footprints in the dirt, you waste of crap. Later, bitch. Oh yeah, it definitely is cold if I have to rub my arms. <sighs> hmm. Wrong person. What? So used to only control having to control one character. Dale boy, I need you to open the portal. So, you're back, huh? What can I help you with? We need to get the crossroad key, Dale. Yeah, I should have known. It's the crew showed up not too long ago with the same request. Looked to be a bit more than the usual hurry. New faces were for two. I don't know what's going on, but I know better than I ask. That's why I'm so good at my job. And, of course, the master chest full of gold she had with her help, too. She mentioned that it should cover your transport fare, too, so you're all set. Excellent, we're ready to leave. Alright then, everything should be ready, although I warn you, I haven't worked out all the kinks in the system just yet, but it should be perfectly safe. Mostly. Now I got everything set up, you should be ready to go at any moment. Wait, you don't have any metal on you, do you? Wait, if you can't transport metal, then how in the world did you get all those saws over? Easy, easy, small joke. You're ready to go. Have a safe trip! Okay, I guess we're going to tread familiar ground! Back to the Sword Coast! Here's hoping we don't end up in the wrong part of the world. I don't want to go into a teleporter and get where I'm supposed to be in the Sword Coast and somehow I end up all the way in, uh... Cormir, for instance. That'd be a trek. <laughs> or hell, the ruins of Mithranor. Why not? Let's just show up with an orc in our party and drow in the middle of the fucking elven capital. What the hell? How'd we end up in a crypt? We're immediately beset by skeletons, huh? Lend me your strength for Mesro. The hell? You cursed us, you sack of shit. Die, necromancer. Frightened and frightened. <sighs> Demi human skull. Arrows. Okay. So, who here agrees that gnome teleportation is shoddy at best? Oh, I don't know. The fact is, we're supposed to be in a sword coast and not some godforsaken crypt filled with undead and a necromancer. So no, gnome teleportation is not the best of work. He did say he had a few kinks to work out. Well, no harm, no foul. I guess we're all alive, so that's something. And plus, this is a good time for me to uh, see what the dead have to offer. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, nice. Potions of cure serious wounds. 
Yay, I'm off to a great start. Here's something we don't have to fight any fucking ghosts while we're also cursed. Some magic, uh, armor comfort. I haven't seen that in a while. Shield of the watch. Ow! Negative energy trap. Really? I missed my save by one point. Damn. The emerald. Okay. Shield of the watch. Plus two versus humans. Armor comfort. It's plus two and plus two to heal. Is this better than full plate plus mm -hmm. one? Yes. No, it is not. Is it better than normal what? full plate? It's the same thing. Stay close and step where I step. All right, well. Oh, hit the pop filter. That's not good. At the very least, I took it off the microphone, so it shouldn't knock it over. Alright, so where did he teleport us? After the fall of the King's Shadows, Kelgar Iron Fist demanded that Nasher give him help to look for one missing knife category. No one was could be spared to help. Okay, where the fuck are we? Um Retreat! I don't wanna have to deal with fucking Wyverns. I can't deal with the wargs. Wargs, no problems. Wyverns! I don't think I can take on Wyverns now. Why are you guys covered in a freaking thing? This beast looks like a dark colored wolf from the devil intelligence since face and eyes. Wargs, I, th I think wargs are essentially intelligent evil wolves. I'm not sure what the difference between them and dire wolves are. We can take their fur, that's nice. Do 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 do. Yay! Here's hope I can get that thing of loot. Before I get ambushed by the fucking wyverns again. But hey, at least I have uses for those fucking tangle root bags I have. 252 experience! Uh, what's her folk are an ancient race of Farron. Who used to control the world! But then the dragons... Shivan of Hides! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh... Wyverns! The raid is challenging. I am going to regret this decision. I am going to deeply regret saving the middle of combat. Here's something none of us get poisoned. Sneak attacks! That's much better. I can now fulfill my role as DPS in the back. Ah, Umaja, you are dangerously low on HP, so run away for a little bit. Drink a potion. Hey, critical, nice. Alright. It's gonna be a dangerous road to cross road keep, isn't it? <laughs> they immediately throw wyverns at me! Wyverns! At least it wasn't dragons. 
I'll take the lesser cousins any day over a full-size dragon at this point. But hey, 480 XP and I hit the goddamn pop filter again. God damn it. Let me just fix the arm and there we go. Okay, where the fuck are we? Leylon. Leylon? Who knows? Point is, it's a city. It's time for us to take a rest. You approach the central square of Leylon, a small mining community. The quiet in the village is occasionally punctuated by the sounds of smelt are working in the distance. Visit the dusty gnome tavern. This is the common room. Because you never know, there might be someone in here I could talk to. Finch! Greetings, travelers. Stopping by for a song, are you? That would be welcome, yes. With such kindness, how can I help but oblige you? Truthfully, my best instrument is my own voice. But I must save that for a larger performance. If I'm ever actually able to perform where I'm scheduled. Well, I for one would love to see you perform. Where would you play? In Neverwinter is where I am bound to sing at the Wailing Wench. Except for the fact that the city has barred me from entering. Did I just hear ducks outside? I think I did. Oh, great, they're traveling. <laughs> Oh shit, someone is singing. Really, what happened? A woman happened is what? A beauty came to see my latest performance there and asked for a somewhat personal encore. Had I known she was married, I'd have been scandalized, I tell you. Why are all bards stereotyped as fucking playboy womanizers? Why? Our bards characterized like this. Every single fucking one that isn't Grubmar. Sadly, the woman's husband is a noble of some note and convinced the authorities I stole his lantanese timepiece. Nonsense. I steal hearts, perhaps. Not clockwork. If you would be so kind as to speak with Sir Naval for me, and profess to my obvious innocence, I would be let back into the city to perform, and my eternal gratitude would be yours. Hey, Sir Naval lived. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he lived? Innkeeper, bards playing, patron, Shimon and Scarbuncle. Okay, I can't talk to you guys. Innkeeper! Well met, stranger. What can I my humble and do for you? How much for a room? That'd be 50 gold. Alright, here's your money. Have a good night, then. Hope you had a nice day. Innkeeper, have you heard any rumors? Well, I hear Crossroad Keep got itself a new merchant company. It's a shame. I trade plenty of mind. But what we need right now are troops, not traders. Anything else? No, Innkeeper will be going. Oh boy. Alright then. We spent the night at the inn, got a quest. Let's continue the trek up north. As seeing as how I don't know what the encounters are on the Sword Coast map, I'm making another save. Okay, we got some swamplands, an obvious divergent path over here. Do I explore? Yeah, I might as well see what's over here, if anything. There's nothing over here, is there? No! It's just a path that catches my eye and wants me to go to look at it. God damn it. What's the point of pulling things for me to explore when the reward is nothing? If I go out of my way to go to some place, I should get something for my troubles. But no! I can't get in. Diddly dick. Uh, 
At least the Shadow War is over, don't have to worry about that whole fucking mess showing up anytime soon. What about the Swampland? Anything in here? Or is this a marsh? Ready. Bombardier Beetles! West Harbor! You're a person town of West Harbor, a little more than a collection of houses in the middle of a swamp. It's nonetheless the only civilization around for miles. Let's enter West Harbor. I thought this place was burned to the ground. <laughs> but apparently it's been rebuilt? Or something of that fashion? I see watchtowers and a gate in the loading screen. Okay. West Harbor, huh? Let's see how you changed in looks. Warning, you are now leaving West Harbor. The West Harbor Militia will be unable to protect you beyond this point. <laughs> okay, sure. West Harbor Gate, enter the Overland map. Well, looks like the uh, Starling Farm was, uh, burnt to the ground. Holy shit, they actually have a proper gate! Holy shit. Uh, halt there! State your name and business! Uh, ventures on the road for coin and combat? Your adventures? Well, uh, it may be that we could use your help if you're interested, of course. Welcome to West Harbor. You'll want to talk to Mayor Buckman. He's over there by the training field. Buckman survived? Let's see, we've got Pitney Jr. Lannon, Kyle Lannon, Kale Lannon, Kiri Lannon. Huh. I wonder if there are any other recognizable faces. There's Laszlo. Shadan Zin. Quarrel? 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 I don't know. Laszlo! New faces, eh? Name's Laszlo Buckman. I'm the mayor here. If Carol let you in, you probably came to help us out, correct? Well, what is it that you need help with? A couple of old black dragons out in the swamp seem to have their eyes set on West Harbor. Want to conquer the town? The village has been through a lot, and we're preparing to fight them off as best we can. Good thing their wings are all gnarled, they can't fly over the walls that way. That's odd, usually dragons would just grab wanderers through the swamp. Any idea why they're so set on West Harbor? Hmm, I'm not sure, I don't know, the minds of dragons are odd things, unpredictable. But they're after this village, that's certain. I got someone to make it worth your while though. Harvest mead, old family recipe. Used to ship all over the Sword Coast before West Harbor got burnt for the first time. If you're selling, guaranteed folks will buy. Alcohol, that works. So what's our job? Well, the situation's got a little more complicated recently. Ah, oh, Wizard Thomas. Holy shit, he lived too. His spells help keep this wall solid, but he went off to scout the dragon's cave and hasn't come back for days. Two of my best fires went to find him, but so far nothing. If people need rescuing, we'll help. Good, glad to hear it. The lair is somewhere in the mare. I expect it's pretty well hidden, so it might take some searching. Best be prepared for that. In the meantime, you're welcome to take a look around. Just don't get too cool, cozy. I'll help how I can. Well, holy shit. It looks like the track to Neverwinter's gonna have to wait a little bit. Because hmm. we're gonna be what? treading old grounds. <laughs> Great. <sighs> Well then, I'm going to call it here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGuy21. This has been Let's Play Nova Tonight 2. Storms are here. Next time, talk to some of the more people in West Harbor. Ugh, and head out to the mayor. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.